Miss Arnold's class. You all are so peaceful this morning. Thank you. Um, welcome to Poem in Your Pocket Day. <laughs> As you know, if you've done Poem in Your Pocket Day before, you'll have a chance to come up to the microphone and share either a favorite poem or an original poem. If it's a poem by someone else and you know the author, please make sure you say the author's name or what book it came from, if you know it. Um, and we are recording this so that you can watch it back or your family can watch it back later. And I'll be sharing the link to that in Class Dojo and on all the ways that we share things. Remember when you come up that we have on a mask, so you kind of have to speak up a little bit, maybe speak a little bit more slowly than normal so that we can try to hear all of your words and face the microphone. Don't be afraid to raise it up or down if you need to. All right. So I'm going to get us started with a poem by Bobby Katz, and this poem is called A Pocket Poem. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. All right, Ms. Arnold, do we have an order? All right. This poem is by me. Two teams going back and forth as the sun beat down on them, as they were as they were one big up as two teams going back and forth as the sun beat down on them, as they're being cooked in one big oven little by little, then the fatigue kicked in as your legs start to weaken more and more, and it just feels like you're about to collapse. But you run through the, the brick wall, you break barriers you never thought you could go through, you beat fatigue once and for all to the end. It is with great pride that I present to you this poem that I wrote, The Humans, Extended Version. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It seems our great mother nature made a mistake when the humans were brought forth from the tides of evolution and time. With our natural inferiority, we became the unnatural dominance, for destruction is our prominent nature. We know not now, nor did we then, how incorrect we were. For as we destroy our planet, we destroy ourselves. And the irony is tragic for as we build our cities and factories that so befell our reputation and lives, we are not making a place for ourselves, but slowly obliterating the position evolution gave to us. And our perish is inevitable if like this we continue. But again, our majority is not so horrific. And if our peaceful majority may rise and alter our course, save us from self-destruction, unless, unless of course the destructive minority destroys us first, for thus is the way of the humans. Bird and an endless sky. But when she spread her wings, she remembered how to fly. This poem is by me. Fred the fish is dead. He was eaten by Ted. Fred said before being dead, oh well. And dead. And Ted was fed too much in her little Earl Fred's uncle. Fred came out too, but dead. And this is called by me. Nature around, nature on the ground. 
by the cowfinch, nature there, nature in the tree. Squirrels munching, munching their nuts, nature all around. Nature in the stream. Frogs burping, fish gobbling, duckling and in the row. Nature in the air. Humming their tongues, make their crispest, bees buzz, singing their happy song, nature all around. This poem may run on Fortnite. Um, can you play Fortnite with John? Can you go to have time? Do you can play for a long time? Uh, this is a poem about the uh, monster truck named Bigfoot. Um, monster truck me a poem about Bigfoot. And monster trucks, monster truck, Lord, Lord, my soul, my soul is at home. It's monster truck at the Cajun Dune. I, I find my seat. I wiggle and wait. I fix my stare on the starting gate. And there is roaring fire with with. <laughs> Mm, Titan tires. My heart. Um, my heart desire. Here come Bigfoot. Caught me hands. Here's. He scratched the cars like so he Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Just like me. Thoughts of the world and born free, love, love, my soul at home. It's my shirt that came to me. Wind, a high cue written by Martha J. Matthews, otherwise known as me. Beyond the breath of wind, we see the energy, the little force of life. What is play all day? Where did mom mean? Play all day. What play, play all day, day. Never eat, never sleep. Play, play all day, day. Love sports, getting here. Play, play all day, day. Energizing and everything like play, play all day. day. No water. They used to have glistening in water. Now it has nothing. Why has someone taken our pool water? Um, but I don't care because I don't have a pool. <laughs> Where the sidewalk ends, my show soon is seen. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, we should admire a hooper prayer. A magic bean wire. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. For we have some flat cone tail spin. Come in, come in. This is my selfie written by me. I am from the bed, from the TV, and food. I am from the soft pouch that smells of potato chips. I am from pine cones from dance. 
I'm from the sounds of songs, from the pile of blankets. I'm from family movie night and comfort, from any and me. I'm from eating and reading, from singing and dancing. I'm from love and support, from the pages of Harry Potter and truth. I'm from song and dance. I'm from jumping in the leaves in the front yard. I'm from tater top casserole and grilled chicken, Disney trips, and fun. It's just so hard to ignore you. Just so hard to not look at you. I don't know what is it about you that makes me feel like I do. No matter what they say, I can't think of you that way. But it's hard to say hey or just smile and simply wait. I don't know why I feel this way. And when you smile today, oh, how it takes my breath away. When you get up this morning, the sun blaze on hours in the sky, a lizard hit under the curly leaf and meet its dark. Let's live the sky graze on the cold wind and breeze was moving under your skin and already heard from the snow of your lungs. This poem is not originally by me, but I don't know who it's, who it's from. This poem is called Mr. Warm. Mr. Warm is a man and is a man in a house in a town you've never been in more Africa and will ever think about. But Mr. Warm knows all about you and your house and your town and he's been there. And he'll be back to see you again. But you won't you won't ever see him. You never do. And this makes Mr. Warm very, very happy. I tripped on my shoelace and I fell up, up to the rooftops, up over the town, up past the treetops, up over the mountains, up where the colors blend into the sounds. But it got me so dizzy when I looked around, I got sick to my stomach and I threw down. This story is, this poem is about snowball. I made myself a snowball as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it, I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first, it wet my degree. <laughs> this poem is called Seasons. Good morning, sky. Good morning, sun. Good morning, little winds that run. Good morning, birds. Good morning, trees. And creeping grass and brown leaves. How did you find how it was dead? Who told you night had gone away? I'm wide I'm wide awake. I'm up to. I'll be right out. I'll be right out to tell you. My mother made this film today. She had blue skin and so did he. He kept it hot and so did she. They searched for blue 
your whole life through the pain of work life in the middle of the year. The song is called Back to School 2020 and it's by Amy Ludwig. I have a new teacher, we have a new class. My new class is tiny, we're all wearing masks. At first I was scared, but how things would change. School was closed, school was closed for so long. Would it feel bad or strange? But today I rolled back to, to my school on my bus. I sat by myself, there wasn't a bus. Not on my ride, or when we got to school, we stood far apart. We learned some new rules. Our teacher led jokes. We all shared our names. What I thought would be different was almost the same. It is what I Now, I just saw another extension to my poem in the, in the span of the past five minutes. If you don't, if you've already forgotten my poem, then you've answered trying to remember it. I'm going to read it again. Why have I made a fuss over not having pool water without even having a pool in the first place? Well, if I don't even have a pool, then I don't even have pool water. 